A while ago I got a request to play some songs of the Medusa album by Trapeze from I think 1970. I don't know if he wanted me to play the riffs and chords or the solos but I figured let's start with the riffs and chords and uh, maybe in a later video we'll check out some of the solos as well. So I got my computer uh, pulled up here besides uh, the camera and uh, I'm gonna listen to the songs and uh, play the riffs for you basically and I'll see if, if there's any hard parts I'll slow them down and uh, show you guys exactly where, where to put your fingers. Uh, one thing I gotta mention before we start, I, I sat down uh, before I started filming and kind of started transcribing uh, some riffs and I noticed that, uh, I can't remember what the guitarist is called, but he uses a lot of this uh, kind of moves. Um, uh, it's like a second inversion major chord if you want to be technical about it. Uh, that just means that it's uh, it's a chord with the uh, with the third in the bottom in the bass. <laughs> so let's say you got a C chord, like C bar chord. If you then slide up to with your ring finger to the uh, seventh fret and uh, bar the fifth fret on. Uh, D, G, and B string. That chord, that chord is called uh, C second inversion, and he uses quite a lot of the, that. Can't rem remember if it's Mel Galley or whatever the guitarist is called, but he, yeah, he's a cool guitarist. There's a lot of that going on uh, at, on different string sets, and if you're in G do it uh, on those three strings, if you're in, say C, you got the full four strings there. You can also do it as an F chord here, and that's 7th, 5th, and 6th fret. That's the same, same thing. So that's that's good to know. Uh, of course, if you move it down to the uh, bottom three strings, you play it like this, like the classic E-shaped bar chord. But yeah, anyways, he uses a lot of that kind of move, so uh, keep on lookout for that. Let's start with Black Cloud. That riff goes like this. Right? So you start on the on the G note on the E string, the third fret. And then you do one of those moves. Or just so it's once again seventh seventh fret on the A string and fifth fret on the D, G, and B string. Or maybe it doesn't even play the B string, it's just the uh, middle two strings there. So it's... Then slide up. F. And then to the C. And kind of walk up E, F, and G. So the riff's real slow. Kind of like that. You could also play it, uh, I don't know what, what way he plays it, I guess like that, but you could also play it like this. And that comes out of the C, C cowboy chord. So it's just... Uh, play the F with the thumb, uh, C, you could play it like that, I think it's kind of harder, but you could do it like that. Ah, there we go. 
sounds pretty much the same. It has kind of a fuller sound. That and that. Just because the, the, the strings are thicker. That's even thicker. You hear the difference? Oh. <laughs> kind of like that, yeah. And the verse riff, which is played on acoustic, uh, goes something like this. And that's, you grab sort of a G chord here. Uh, you don't have to play the full, full cowboy chord, just the... Uh, the third fret on on the E string, and then open string, uh, mute the mute the A string, and then uh, open uh, D and G string could also include the B string, but mainly you focus on this kind of move here. Uh, so you play with either your middle finger or ping uh, or pointer finger, index finger. Uh, on the second fret of the G string there. Uh, that's the first move. And then you play an F chord and you pretty much have to uh, to finger it like this. Uh, you could maybe play it like that, but it's it's kind of uh, kind of easy to to hit the wrong notes there. Because it's easy to get the E string ringing as well, I think. Uh, but uh, that that's up to you. But yeah, you play an F major chord, and then you let go of the uh, those two fingers, um, index and middle finger, uh, which leaves the G and B string open. That's sort of a nice move there, and then open C chord, cowboy chord, and uh, there's a little melody on top on, of that one as well. That that little melody which which is on the B and G string. You start on the B string with the first fret where your uh, C note is, then you play let go of that finger, so it's a B, and open G string. And you return to G chord. So that verse is. Real slow. Kind of like that. So, next part, uh, you end the. Uh, uh, verse with and then you go to A from there and it's kind of kind of hard to tell exactly what it's doing there but I think it plays something like this so it's something like that I think and that is just an A power chord zero two two and then just slightly hit the the third fret of your A string and pull off, and then hit the higher A note there, kind of like that. So slow, pretty much like that, and then you can do. Kind of like that. I think it does something like that, but the bass also uh, kind of wanders upwards, so it's it's kind of hard to tell. It sounds, if I were to play pretty much both parts at the same time, it would, would sound kind of like this. Pretty much. So I think it plays. And then it goes up to that that move again, that's second inversion, back to G, slow,
pretty much like that. So that move, you slide up and then you hit the D string and then the G string. And return to G. And then there's another verse and chorus part and uh, the second time around uh, after this part whatever it is uh, you play and that's just G twice and then F first fret and C and F and G. That's pretty much it for Black Cloud. They go on to play uh, variations of the, the same things basically from then on. Now let's check out Jury. Uh, they start out by playing uh, I guess uh, finger picked uh, acoustic uh, style uh, which I'm, I'm a horrible finger picker which you'll see uh, <laughs> later on as well but I think they play like this. Uh, if you're if you're a good finger picker, you can make that actually sound good, uh, <laughs> which which I'm unable to do really. But yeah, uh, the the basic part is uh, second fret on the G the D string. Uh, there you have an E. The, it, it's basically E minor to C. C major 7. But you start with 2nd uh, fret on the D string and uh, open G string, open B string and then 3rd fret on the high E string. And you hit uh, both the uh, D string and the E string at the same time. And then uh, G string uh, and then B string. I think you hit the the low D string again there, and then open open E string, something like that, and then it's the the kind of C major chord, uh, which is kind of like a C uh, cowboy chord, but without these two fingers and a muted D string. So you pick the A string and E string at the same time, and then G string and B string and A string again and E string. I think that's how it plays it. So really slow. So the the verse ends with uh, kind of E A minor to D to C strum part basically oh, uh, below the uh, damnation is near part where he sings that phrase then comes the heavy heavy riff here <laughs> play open E string and then a E power chord 7th and 9th fret on uh, uh, A, D and G string and then slide down that one to the 3rd and 5th fret for a C power chord kind of maybe give it a bit of a shake there and then comes the end part of the riff so that's it's just open E string third fret on the E string and second fret and open again and after he plays that riff for quite a while uh, there comes a part where um, it's basically the same part as in the uh, Intro verse, replace the E minor, D, and the C, 
but here he plays them, he plays them like power chords instead. <laughs> So it's just 7th and ninth, and 5th uh, and 7th, and 3rd and 5th fret. So then there's sort of a break, kind of fading out on uh, E, and then comes a cool, cool little riff that sneaks in. Sort of like that, and it's uh, based around power chords yet again, and uh, it slides up from the D power chord on fifth fret to the seventh fret on the E power chord. Kind of palm mute uh, riff, then down to D, and play them open open strings. I think I think it does one of those where you play. Pretty much the A and D string, just quickly uh, open and then fret the uh, D power chord. Then play. And with a big full open E chord, uh, without the third it sounds like. So what I do there, I just play with my index finger, the 2nd fret on the A string and D string, and then I mute with the same finger, I mute the G string so it doesn't ring. So it's... You hear that? So you can play real huge sounding power chord without the major or minor third. That would sound too, too depressing. Or too jolly. <laughs> so you want it kind of neutral sounding and just real full. So the riff is So after that, it comes a part uh, that sounds, I don't know, kind of lopsided because the, the bass and the guitar kind of plays against each other, uh, I think. Um, and it's, it just basically uh, plays around with the E and D chords. I think it plays maybe, maybe down here. Or it plays something like that let's let's uh, let's play it up here uh, but basically those two chords and then it goes down to C I think it goes like that I gotta gotta check again there yeah, that's the way it plays. So it's something like that. So it's, as I said, E chord, D chord, you could. I think, in some cases at least, it plays with the uh, open B and E strings uh, together with the D power chord. There, you, for the E chord, you can of course use the uh, low E string open to get a full sound. So D. Then for this uh, part where it goes down to C, it's. So that's uh, on the A string, it's first the third fret, then the second fret, then the open A string. And then kind of quickly, just chromatically, chromatically from G down to open A string.
pretty much like that. So real slow on that part. And after that, uh, they play uh, play around with those few riffs there, uh, kind of uh, various parts on top of that, and uh, then the outro goes back to the uh, the kind of uh, finger picking part, and then the heavy riff again. Uh, <laughs> And that's pretty much Jury. Let's move on to Your Love Is All Right. So that's around the A chord of fifth fret here. You do a slide, you could do it from uh, far down below the note, or just like two frets, uh, and then you play so first uh, up to the sixth fret on the G string, and then the high E string uh, on fifth fret, and then fifth fret on the B string, and a bend from the eighth fret on the B string, and just a slight. Uh, vibrato, vibrato on that note. So it's like that. And then you play the same thing again. But then instead of that bend, you play both the G and B string on 7th fret. And do like a half tone bend. And 5th fret on both. So the second part is, and just repeat that and those two phrases there. Uh, so real slow, it's And I think at some point he plays like an open G string before the slide. And you can do that on whichever whichever you want. Uh, it's real cool. Might might take some uh, getting used to uh, if you haven't done that kind of thing before. Like play open G string and then like hammer and slide. <laughs> yeah, it's cool lick. So the verse riff is... Uh, there we go. So you play the open A string first. And then all the action is around the 5th and the 7th fret. On first the A string, you can just hammer on those. And then the 5th fifth, fifth fret on the D string. That, that last part, I guess you hammer on that uh, from the 5th fret on the D string to 7th fret. Those muted notes in between uh, the the uh, kind of ringing notes, uh, you gotta kind of do some extra right hand stuff and mute with the left hand. So it's you gotta make it a short. Pretty much all the the notes here are gonna be very short. So you pluck the note and then mute immediately. So it's you get it. So it's in between those is it's also on the D string. So it's pretty much like that. 
much like that. So the chorus part of Your Love It's Alright uh, is it starts on C, the C power chord pretty much, or it could also include the major third there. And then you slide up, you kind of do one of those moves. However, you don't do it for the uh, C chord. You instead play an F chord in that shape. Uh, like I uh, mentioned before, you play like this. So it's 7th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the uh, G string, and 6th fret on the B string. So you play a C chord, and then slide up to that F shape. Then you do a similar thing, the play a G chord, just like a regular bar, bar G chord, and you slide up, and that shape you might recognize from the C chord. That's second inversion, inversion C. So it's the seventh, fifth, fifth fret. So it's G. You slide up. So from the from the top there is C, and slide up to an F. Then it's G. Slide up to C. After that comes. Uh, almost exactly like the first move, you just move it up to two frets. So it's it's a D chord at first, and then you slide up to a G. You hear that? It's just regular G. So the entire uh, chorus part there is C, G, D, and then you land on on an F chord, just a straight up bar chord, I think. You hit that F chord four times. Two, three, four, and then return to the verse riff. And yeah, it basically just continues with those few parts. It's just two parts, really. Um, and there's a solo and a verse, chorus and out, pretty much. That's it for part one. Uh, let's continue this next week. Or if you watch this uh, video long after the publication, uh, you'll find the link up here. Here, I haven't learned this yet. <laughs> then also in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.